Well, July 1st, I'm with the man, the legend, the myth, Mr. Chris Martin. We're training, and yes, we're wearing winter clothes. July 1st, it's global warming in Canada. Cold at 6 or 7 Celsius this morning. So we're, uh, Chris is getting ready for his big ride right now. He's going to be going uh, mid-August from uh, Montreal to PEI. It's a two-week ride. We decided to do a quick little, I think, 70 or 80K ride today. Uh, we're going to go to Tamworth for a quick little breakfast, a little powwow with his friends. Uh, well, Chris is on a diet, so you might just have the pancakes, no sausages. More sausages, he says. But if you guys want to follow Chris, uh, he's got a website that says We Ride For You. I will uh, make... Love Sweat Gears. Hey? At Love Sweat Gears. At Love Sweat and Gears. I'm going to send a link below on the YouTube video. You guys can support him, follow him on his incredible journey to raise uh, awareness for Alzheimer's. And uh, don't forget, uh, that's a double joke by the way for everybody out there in YouTube world. Beauty day, and uh, there's a premium edition. Let it go. So for anybody that's got any mobility issues, and if you're sitting on the couch and watching this video, any type of fitness level, these e-bikes are amazing. And hey, man, if Chris can do it, you can do it. Well, he's actually, he's actually 74. He's just really ruggedly handsome at 64. So this is a Platinum Edition. Chris, what do you think of those bikes so far? Uh, this bike works really well. The flying the hill is amazing. And, uh, very, very comfortable to ride. The hands don't fall asleep. It's not good when I fall asleep. <laughs> right. So... Yeah, I can't say enough about this bike. It's a very, very comfortable drive. Now, you're telling me about this bike here. They have a support system across Canada for any breakdowns. Uh, can you tell us more about that, about the bike? Uh, Pedagogy Canada has offered tech support uh, to people that got the bike from in Bloomfield. They offered all the tech support they need, any problems. They just retuned it all up, uh, put an extra battery. Hills that we need to climb up, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully not having to call them too much. But uh, if we do, they're going to be there to help us out. And that's, that's important. That, that's we really get this done. Yeah, that's really amazing. Oh, I got to move out of the way here. I'm going to get run over. Sorry about that. That's the other thing. Uh, road uh, safety <laughs> that I don't practice very much. But we're on a side county road, so the traffic is minimal. It is July the 1st. It is Canada Day weekend. And Chris and I decided to wake up 6 o'clock this morning, go for a ride. We got a little late start. We had a little bit of seat adjustment. But it's really, really nice to have support from a company. I'm riding a bike called Bike Tricks, which is... Uh, they're found in the middle of Canada. I love the bike, but I have a little bit of customer service issues with the bike and I'll do another video for that that's the hard part about uh, videoing you and cycling a little bit on we're going to get the drone hopefully we have a drone that will follow us on the trip and uh, we'll do the video and we'll do the talk and get this ride so Chris if you want to tell the audience why is there such a passion why, why are you taking up such a physical hardships for the next two weeks to ride from Montreal to PI. Why are you so passionate about Alzheimer's? Alzheimer's has been uh, bad for my family. Uh, my grandmother passed with us. I still have an uncle. Another uncle passed. I have an aunt in a nursing home with Alzheimer's. My mother-in-law just got transferred to a nursing home with dementia and Alzheimer's. So we can make a little bit of a difference uh, in awareness of it that people can maybe learn 
live a little longer without the suffering and the family members are the ones who really get hurt the most. Uh, they have to go in every day and look after the mother. And so if we can learn a little more and get a little bit of help out there. It's, uh, that's all we're trying to do today. Just a little bit more of awareness. Uh, hopefully this helps. We can raise a little bit of money and make a difference for all Alzheimer's. What do you think, cows? You think it's a good cause? I think Alzheimer's is bullshit. That's what I think it is. I think it's a horrible, horrible affliction that people suffer from, and it's uh, very commendable to raise awareness for that, Chris. I highly support you. July 27th, Canada Beach. You know, I live at a farm with a Canadian Luke Bond of Headline for us. Great night. What time, uh, July 27th, Chris? Uh, 6 o'clock. Doors open at 6. Entertainment starts at 7. Even the dogs are excited. Did you see that, Chris? They're barking up a storm for that one. Yeah, it'll be a great night. Uh, come on out. Silent auction, raffles, 50 50 door prizes. I look forward to everybody coming out to have a lot of fun. And the reason we did comedy, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, people that laugh, enjoy their life, uh, it really helps to slow down the onset of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. So that's the other reason we choose laughter, and, uh, just to have a fun night. Well, I'm going to end the video right now because uh, my hands are getting tired from holding. i got to get a, some kind of holder for my phone. Yeah. But I hope you guys back home enjoy our little uh, ride and our little motivation and uh, please support us. Uh, Chris is uh, starting this incredible journey. I'm going to be joining him next year. I got some logistics and some health issues I got to conquer first. And uh, yeah, definitely look him up. I'll send you the link below on the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and follow this amazing guy on this amazing journey. Bye, guys.